What's going on, Zar family? Now, this is going to be part two of our first doubles ladders UMG. So, if you haven't watched the first part, it's going to be up in the top right hand corner thumbnail. You can click that or go search it if you're on a mobile device. But I am currently playing with um, Focus Strange, Noah, and um, Strange is probably the person I've played the most Call of Duty with in Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. So, we've been playing together for a pretty good, pretty good bit. So we, we've been making up a pretty good team lately. So we decided to go ahead and make a UMG doubles ladder team for um, just the current season. Now we're, we're really behind in the season, but we're getting our foot in the door. But what, what's so great about me and Strange is that we know what guns each other's gonna use. I understand what he like how he plays, and he understands how I play and what guns I want to use. So we're, we're at a point where we kind of understand what each other is going to do before, without even having to say it which is really like a key to making a pretty decent team so to just kind of catch you up on what's going on this is the third map in our best of three against this team and we are currently tied up we lost the first round on their host and then second round we won on breach which you can obviously see in the last video that i posted and we are currently playing on Redwood. This is definitely not one of my favorite maps. I'm not really fond of how A is set up. And it's just not evenly like distributed through the map. Kind of like the mid lane and other lane is. So, like I said, we, um, we do end up playing very, very well. You definitely got to stick around and watch all of it. We do clutch up quite a few rounds here after going down 0-2. We didn't, we didn't let it get the best of us. Now, if I did have to assume, I would probably say that we are getting better simply by just playing arena mode lately. It's definitely a step up competitive-wise against everybody, and it just kind of gets us in that mindset when we play. But we do have a super noob accident on our behalf on this map. It does kind of suck. We end up losing um, this final map by default. It is just kind of like devastating because we do end up bringing this map back after being down like one to three and we do have like really good clutch moments we both handle it very well so maybe like it wouldn't have been so bad if we smoked them like we won six to one and then they like message us we so what happened was we ended up um setting the bomb timer the diffuse time wrong which was my fault which I've, I've never set up a competitive map on um custom games so i missed it so I, I do claim responsibility for this loss, even though we did outplay them. So, so as as disheartening as it may be, we do got to move on and um, keep grinding, keep playing. I do feel like we've got a lot of experience on this game, though, because um, it's been super fun playing on a, like a more competitive scale than just pubs. Pubs just kind of um, it, it's not competitive. It's um rather annoying at times. Because most people are just trolling half the time. But UMG or G GB ladder play is kind of what we plan on doing lately. I'm probably going to make a series out of it. So our current goal right now, at least mine, is I really want to get to at least 10 wins by Christmas. I know that's not really a whole bunch. I mean, there's people on the ladder that's got like 115. I'm sure it's like 130 wins by now. Like I said, we're, we're still obviously noobs. As if you couldn't tell by our um, by our little mishap on our very first UMG doubles match. So now we are approaching some very good footage of a few clutches that I did in these next two rounds. Also, you've seen we were down one to four, so it was definitely like super comeback. And as you guys can see, we got to plant the bomb. We're running out of time. We, I mean, we had plenty of time left to plant it. But they, they um, obviously could see that we weren't over at A and they were going to be flanking us. So we knew we had to plant a bomb before they can get back around to flank us. So I decided to sit here in the grass and I figured one of them would at least come that way. It looks like they both did end up flanking us and I do push backwards and Strange gets taken out inside. So I figured one of them would be defusing and I just make this quick switch because I figured once I tagged that first guy, the second guy was going to try to trade with me. So luckily the M8 is so OP, I was able just to pull it out and hit fire and get a lucky double kill. So that was my first 1v2 of the game. And this here, I try to get into a decent spot and hide from my XD car. And I want to use the XD car to 
check um, a bomb to see if they were over there after seeing that it was clear though I probably should have just blown it up and went and provided support for Noah but I tap on it because he was back there kind of protecting our spawn area and I was lucky enough to um, survive this far so he took out strange I hit that guy so I knew this guy was weak coming around the corner and I was lucky enough for that first guy just to run up on me and just he wasn't really expecting me in that corner I don't think but he was definitely looking for me so we're gonna use our um, overdrive I almost fall off but I'm gonna push around this corner we're gonna plant a we haven't planted a once yet so it definitely threw him off not none neither one of them were over here so it was a quick plant and um strange strange takes out the first guy and it's a 1v2 and I got a lightning strike which obviously you see I'm pinged which I didn't even call that out I was telling strange how bad that was that I didn't call him out even though I seen him on the mini map so I just kind of assumed my lightning strike would get him but obviously there's things we can improve on things I see every game that we can improve on since I'm kind of like re-watching all my footage but playing competitively I found that I really like rushing middle and getting into this broken concrete and then you can kind of decide like say strange it strange is over at b-bomb if he sees him at b-bomb I can obviously flank him but if he hasn't seen anything yet I have time to try to make it over to a and flank him this way but a is such a bad spot like I said they get you in such a position where like you can only come two directions you can either come like around that tree and just be instantly dead or you're coming around the corner from B so it, it's a good place to plant a bomb but it's a hard place to get the bomb to if there's people defending it so this is the very last round it's 5v5 obviously I caught the dude using overdrive I called him out and he ended up trying to challenge me I pulled out the RK5 melted him I decided we're planting the bomb it's 2v1 we're gonna get this strange sees the dude the dude takes shots I told strange just to run away play it safe like we just gotta tag him up I figured he'd be coming around this corner but I was wrong he does end up trying to take out strange strange falls and I just try to gotta try to decide when I need to check bomb because I know he's probably head glitching over here at bomb so I come over I check I don't see anyone and I see a foot and I'm like oh my gosh hopefully don't defuse it I slide in and we take 6-5 this point I believe we have won but like I said we come to the unfortunate information that we have the wrong bomb defused on now if you enjoyed this type of video guys let me know drop a like um, this is something I do plan on doing a lot more with strange I kinda like this 2v2 action but I will be dropping Strange's information in the description below I'll be giving his YouTube and his Twitter so go hit him up guys and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, as always.